Yo, what's good, Wolf Among Us fans? We got the Let's Play going on right now with the face cam. How y'all doing today? Uh, so y'all about to see some happiness, some some joy, some excitement, some tears, and some fears up in here. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. So this is episode three, A Crooked Mile. And uh, I got to change my save file up because that's not the one I want to do. Let's see, where am I? Save file one. I think it's um, yum, 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 yum. Yeah, this one. Yeah. All right. All right, here we go. Look at baby over here <laughs> chasing down this car. All he got is smoke. No, no, uh, what's his name? No Ichabod. But like I said, I don't think Ichabod did it. The evidence is just too compelling. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. <clears throat> but ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. Lily. That's her name. Forgot. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pool uh -oh. guy. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The little Mermaid. Oh, she's falling far from Grace. Arms. Oh, my God. What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. That motherfucking piece of shit. Crane? Ugh, God, you'd think you'd know a person. Hmm. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know. What's going on? Ooh. What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Crane's the killer. <laughs> what? Ichabod Crane? <laughs> How do you know? Spread the rumors. Shit! Crane, Finn. <laughs> oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Crane has been stalking Snow White. The room is covered in evidence. Crane might be following Snow. If I can find her, I can... God damn it! Okay, it's, it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the Trip Trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip Trap? Are you drinking? When? <laughs> right now. I know. They're on their way out. I know she ain't talking. Big B. Trying to reverse the role. You've been lying to me the whole time, Wait. beauty. What? Snow's... <sighs> Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful when you tell her. And you should tell her. But... What do you mean? What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Hmm. So be tact. Be sensitive. Be understanding. I can do that. I'm Big B. <laughs> Who's better at empathy than Bigby? My favorite emotion. Swish. The Buckingham Bridge. K 
10, 28 p.m. Alright, let's see if my prediction videos are just full of shit or do they actually speak truth to power? I'm um, honored to be asked to speak to you. Oh, that's no. So this is Lily's funeral. Lily had many friends, but few fables she was truly close to. If you were here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. Well, I like you in red snow. Red and black is cool. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I'll let her talk. She's safe. I know as well as you that it, it will never subside. Hey, Lawrence, man. But I also know that, What's good, that bro? the memory of Lily will Your sustain Highness. as well. Oh, uh, Sheriff. I'm, I'm sorry, I, uh... I didn't see you there. Do you know her? Did you know the deceased? Like to talk about Lily? Oh, um, no, not really. I just came because it... I don't know. Felt like a thing I should do, I guess. I was angry at first. When I heard that Lily was getting a funeral. That Holly was getting closure. I wanted that too. And I wanted it for Faith. But then I remembered Faith lived a story Lily really never did. She had her adventure. She got to live in the light of forever after with me. For a while. So let Lily have the better finish. It all evens out. In the end. I'm gonna get that dude, man. I'm gonna get the guy who did this, Lawrence. Now we'll have Thank you, Big B. Oh yeah. And thanks for saving my life. Yeah, you're welcome for that too. Take care of things, okay? Alright, Prince Lawrence. You've had definitely had better days. What's this over here? <laughs> the Big B, is everything okay? No, not you. What? Holly, it's he wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. What? Not after what he did. What did I do? <laughs> settle down. <laughs> Holly, settle down. I'll only take a minute. I forgot what I did. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here. After you lie and say you'll check first. Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He'd disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. Oh. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Holly, it's going to be okay. Holly, this just isn't important right now. I need Ooh. to talk to Snow. You are unfucking believable <laughs> Bad choice of words. <laughs> My Holly, bad. Big B's trying in, in his Ouch. own way, uh. and I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? Honesty. I'm here to talk to Snow. Oh, that's it. Really? Yes, Holly. This is serious. Okay. Okay. Look, Big B and I are going to have a little chat. Far away from the ceremony, all right? Look, Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Man, no words for you. I'm done talking. Then I say it's gonna work anyway. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. Oh, we got all the freaks out tonight. It's your turn to talk. I said the freaks come out. I said the freaks come out at night. Nah, that's so disrespectful. This is a funeral. Let me act accordingly. This better be wildly important. Oh, it's been hard you don't want to hear this a connection with these people. When you pull this kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. Snow, Crane is completely obsessed with you. Oh my God! If this is about how Crane treats me at work, just I listen to me for a second, all right? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. 
Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. He replays your story over and over again. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. To not picture him. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Uh, I don't want to show her that please, picture. Baby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this wrong, mm. it would mean more than our jobs. We'd get kicked out of Fable Town for messing all of this up so badly. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. Photos that show him... He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Snow? All right. Marissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Marissa. Two minutes. I've seen you naked. I don't naked. need to be... Um, no, I understand. It's just that okay. something's come up. Are you okay? You don't have to do this right now. I'll be fine. Hey, Narissa. Over here interrupting me. How'd it go? At the motel. Did you find anything? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna tell you all the dirty stuff. Yeah. Lily was killed there. It was an awful mess. Oh. I'm sorry. Nerissa! Yeah, um, coming! All right. New Book of Fables entry unlocked. Constable? Oh, hey! Wait, 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 easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. I'd tell you to run, but it won't do any good. <laughs> Just make it more fun for tell me. Tell him, Bigby! What are you dreaming about? Oh, man. You ain't a fast enough pup to prevent me from emptying both barrels into Snow White's face over there. Oh, now you done you it. snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. Oh, wow. What Just is going on here? Just take a vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No. See, now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. What's it gonna be? You think this act you got going scares me? Cause it doesn't. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not- What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Uh-oh. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that. It ain't any of your... What deal? They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Oh, yeah. Really? Is that the That open? wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. Oh, shit. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you can just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Polly? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should let yeah. him go at it. Listen to your lady, love. Things uh, don't have to turn sloppy now. No comment. Come on, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I got that. <laughs> yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead whore. Oh, I'm gonna kill you! Oh! I got it, dumb. 
Oh no. Oh, we got you. Come on. Dang. I done got how shot. Oh well. Oh, what did I got? What the? Oh, it's me too! Damn. Oh, this is a sad day indeed. Okay. The funeral just turned into a massacre, guys. Whoa. Um, that probably could have went down a lot differently. <laughs> I'm going to have to check out the uh, variations of my other playthrough, man. Oh, my goodness. But whatever. You playing it through? No regrets. No take backs. All right. So I'm walking down the street, lone wolf up in this bitch. Uh, I forgot to turn on the music. Guys, I'm losing dramatic effect here. Uh, God, I keep on forgetting to do that. No, not main menu. All right. Ah, uh, damn. Okay, 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 apply. I'm gonna have to just stop messing with the music, like for real. this right here man just walk through the city it just lets me know that telltale games can do other things besides the walking dead you see the hustling bustling city like this it's just a whole different vibe from uh, the walking dead vibe people are over there minding their own business everybody doing their own personal things and uh loving this wolf among us so far man great job telltale games what have I got done? I thought Grin would be able to hold him down. I thought he was stronger than that. And, yeah, he had both his arms. So he should have been able to do it. A Crooked Mile, Episode 3. That was just the intro, people. Who's my man over here on the desk, man? Boy, it looks serious. I, was... I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot. Oh, it's the doctor. there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but... Until they do, you're gonna be sore. Big B, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. Not an option, Doc. <clears throat> Miles Brow. Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. And try and get some rest. How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. Oh, good. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. <laughs> Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. Look, I'm not the one who creates the situations. I'm just the one who has to deal with them. So you say. No rest for the wicked, man. I gotta keep working. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. Your boy Bigby. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White? Bigby? Oh my goodness. <laughs> we need more staff. Hi, some new people, man. So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. Damn. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. We don't have time to wait for the mirror. Crane could be getting on a train right now. Well, I don't want to just go running off into the night without some direction. What the hell is going on? We need some clues. Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if, I mean, this is going to sound crazy, but D 
Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? No. Because it's just... It's incomprehensible to me. No. I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. I actually do feel bad for Holly. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. What's up, Snow? And I don't want to offend you. Oh, But oh, after tonight, okay. it's on my mind. Why? What's on your mind? It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Really, Snow? You think I'm having a good time? Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Why? What? Why even bring this up? For real? What the point is this? I guess it doesn't matter. Get out of my way, Snow. And you're welcome. Uh, Jeez. Guys, we have a problem. Uh -oh. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Oh. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh, it's not here. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. Hey. I saw Crane pick something up after He's he smart, it. man. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Okay. Or what, Buckin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Oh, Buffkin. So that is very interesting, man. The mirror can heal itself. It, it is in itself a magical item. And I guess since it has a personality, it's alive too, so it can actually heal and stuff. That is cool as hell, man. I was actually worried about the mirror. Looks like it's already healing up, man. Like the pieces they put in together, they don't look to be... Oh, no, I see the edges. Never mind. What up, Buffkin, man? Don't worry, we're going to catch this motherfucker. <laughs> Buffkin, all extra sad. Mm. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. <laughs> I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. Ah, oh, you, you're used to the sunglasses. Yeah. That's your fault. See anything else? Huh? Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Why didn't you try and stop him? What do you want me to do, yank on his hair? I'm only three feet tall. <laughs> there are limits here. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> right. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. All right, Buffkin. I like the little monkey, man. You don't gotta worry about no glamour. It doesn't stay in the office. 
Maybe the wishing well, you know. Crane's desk. What's over here, man? We really need to go track now Tweedledee and Tweedledum. If I can get them separate from each other, then I can get the real answers. Who's doing what and who for, or whatever. They too stupid to do anything like this, so they are definitely taking orders from somebody.